Hey, what's going on? It's Bebop Bob Shop Bob Shiggy 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 Giggy the Bobby the Hobby Swap. Anyways, if you saw yesterday, Call of Duty came out with their trailer on uh, Twitter, which is called Caldera. 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 I don't know. One of those. And uh, so that's going to be coming out December 9th, December 8th. If you got Vanguard, don't buy Vanguard to play it 24 hours early. It is not worth it unless you're balling. You got plenty of cash to throw away because that's what you're doing. If you buy Vanguard, throwing that away right into the dumpster because uh, that game's just amazing. Call of Duty did a great job. Activision, if you're watching, I just support everything you've done in that game. Zombies are amazing. You should see my short about zombies and that piece of shit game mode they got. Anyways, I'm just going to scroll through some of the photos. You can go to the Call of Duty website. I'll link it in the description. Here's the new map. There's definitely some point of interest. I'm actually going to bring that up really quick. So if you look on down at the bottom of the left of the map, point of interest, I guess that's going to draw a lot of people in. This down here, the power plant has the most in the concentrated area. I bet that's going to you know make a lot of people go there. I want to know what the next superstore is going to be. We don't know that yet. You know, K and N have a lot of dots. There's a lot of areas of the fields. That's going to be interesting. Um, I don't really see another area that's really heavily concentrated. So, I don't know. I think N's going to be the hot spot, baby. So, if we scroll down here, we'll go past that. You, you can go to the Call of Duty website and just check out all the photos. That's cool. It looks like shipment. So, hopefully, they lighten up these containers. I can see some rose skin hiding in there. That's what all those rose skin sweats do. They hide like little. No, I'm just kidding. Y'all, y'all are good to go. Don't attack me. I'm just an average player, baby. Don't hurt me. Uh, anyways, I bet the ghillie suit from Modern Warfare is going to be all over in this map. I mean, all over them hills, hiding in the bushes, the tree, the foliage. You know, anyway, some of these photos look pretty dope. I like all these areas. I'm definitely going to want to check out the whole map. It doesn't look like any, there's any crappy areas like downtown where all the rooftop randies are. There's going to be hilltop heathers everywhere, probably. Uh, I don't know what else to call them right now. That's what I'm going with. So they got the airport and all this other stuff. Let me just scroll through really quick so you can see them. You can pause the video. There's the, uh, what do they say, courthouse, Capitol building. So that's pretty cool looking. That theater looks pretty cool. I like that. It kind of reminds me of the theater in, um, oh, what's that movie with Quentin Tarantino? So they are going to introduce probably a new game mode where I hear it says Vanguard Royale. Explore all new content with dog fighting, which is going to be jets flying around trying to shoot each other down. I don't know if that's going to be in the actual Battle Royale game or not. Might be its own separate mode. Updated land vehicles, so they might have some you know guns on them or something like that. They're going to add two new weapons in the game that's going to be in the Battle Pass for everybody to have. You don't have to buy the Battle Pass to get them. You'll just earn them as you play. They're the free, uh, it's going to be free content. But the Battle Pass, you know, to get all the other items, you will have to pay. You got to get those stickers and emblems, right? We all care about it. You got to get those spray paints. I don't know what to do if I don't have new spray paints, Call of Duty. It looks like they're going to have the Alcatraz or um, whatever this game mode's called. But, you know, just update it with the newer look. So, cool. When you die in the Gulag, you're going to come back with the same weapons and, and stuff that you had. I, I hope they have more health, you know, like they did in the Iron Trials. I don't know if they're going to implement that or not. I think that should be the base mode. That's the best mode. The quick death stuff from people mounted in a window far away is stupid. Get rid of it. When Warzone specific drops, any player who wins a Gulag will drop back in the uh, will drop back in with the weapon or weapons and lethal equipment given to them during the deadly duel. So whatever you get in the um, Gulag, you spawn in with. Right here, if you look, Dead Silence is going to be nerfed. Stopping power rounds are gone. Thank goodness. Dead Silence should be gone, I think. How are they going to nerf it? I bet you they're going to make the time of the Dead Silence go f away faster. It's just not going to last as long. That's what I'm That's what I'm thinking. Because what are you going to do? If you silence the footsteps a little bit, it's not really Dead Silence. So I think they're just going to make it shorter. So, hey, I'm good with that. I wish they would just get rid of it. Whatever. In addition, Raven Software looked closely at equipment such as uh, nerfs to stun grenades, heartbeat sensors, which I've been saying forever, heartbeat sensor needs to be nerfed tremendously. Um, I don't know how they're going to do that. Only maybe you could use it at certain times like a uh, tactical equipment, maybe twice or something like that. They also looked at dual wheel weapons like the Cali sticks, nerf those, thank goodness. 
Tell me what you think about this in the comments, and I'm gonna tell you my thoughts after I read this. Another change involves loadout drop markers. They can now be purchased from the buy stations only after the loadout drop event occurs in a match, effectively shifting their usefulness from a immediate power spike to a more tactical choice in the mid to end game. I think that's interesting. And I'm glad they're actually taking a chance on that because they can always change it back if people don't like it. But what that's going to do is make you get the ground loot and you're going to have to decide, do you go get UAVs? Do you get, you know, self revives? Are you good with the ground loot? You better be good with mold, a multitude of weapons, not just your favorite. You drop in, you get your loadout and go hunt. Now you're going to have to play without the perks. You're going to have to use movement, more skill based, the ground loot. You know, I think that's tremendous. I think, Hey, that's good to go with me. Change some stuff in the game. See if it works. If it doesn't, you can always go back. But hey, let's, you know, change up the game a little bit. Let's have some fun with this. Make it more of a skill-based game. And I think that's what that move's all about. All right, this is interesting. Along with these nerfs, several lethal and tactical equipment pieces will see much needed buffs. Most lethal equipment will deal more damage while the snapshot grenade will see its effective radius increase the stem will also uh, supply or also apply a slight movement boost and the decoy grenade will pack rubber bullets that deal just enough damage to pester enemies. That's cool. And you can throw them in a room where people are camping, at least take down some of the health lethal equipment will deal more damage. Ooh, grenades are going to be huge. It's going to be interesting. Gas masks won't interrupt here. Let me highlight this real quick. Gas mask won't interrupt as many actions as they did previously, making it easier to pull your mask on or off as well, um, played, as well as plating up or reloading a weapon while getting out of the circle collapse, but still always favoring the combat advantage to those safely inside the circle. So that's cool. You're going to get a little bit of choice. The gas mask um, animation, hopefully they get rid of that. It's going to be up to you to decide when to use that. Gas mask may offer a modicum of protection. I say that word right against explosive canisters a, a brand new item developed by high moon studios. If these canisters canisters explode, they release a small cloud of non-toxic smoke into the atmosphere. Ooh, that's going to be interesting. What the heck is that? After pinging uh, one up those new uh, canisters uh, in Caldera, try lighting the fuse and throwing a canister or clipping it onto a, uh, a sender to send a nice gift to someone who's overstayed their welcome on high ground. Hey, get rid of the campers, right? Alternatively, alternatively, since it requires both hands to carry, simply shooting someone carrying it or dropping one you're carrying, stepping out of the blast radius and firing at it could make an effective, or uh, can make it effective during a few moments of an active firefight that's that's interesting so that, that's probably going to be a huge deal then it's probably going to get a big gas cloud or something like that it's going to make people have to move out of the way but if they're carrying it with two hands you're going to be slow and you're going to be an easy target for someone to use that against you so that's cool hey add new stuff in the game you know what i think they need to bring back though the grapple i want to see that back battlefield did it right with the wingsuit the grapple the zip lines call of duty i hope you're on your game if you get in water it's going to be harder for people to track you using the tracker perk which no one uses anyways but right here crouch in knee high water and you gain the effects of cold blooded but you cannot go prone i'm guessing maybe ai you know kill streaks things like that they won't target you when you crouch in the water speaking of science fire-based equipment now causes smoke when it hits water adding a new layer of tactics when traversing through open shallow pools i think that's going to be i think smoke grenades might be uh big i'm probably gonna look back at that and laugh but in this game mode i think you're gonna need some sort of cover because it's gonna be just so open during a match you can find new contracts to complete such as supply drop contract with airlifts valuable crate onto the map for anyone to pick up but only has the exact location revealed by the contracted squad the big game bounty which targets the operator with the highest kill count but only once per game that's gonna be cool if you get in a game and you get that contract and you see it's Huskers, you can just go ahead and back out. It'd be better for everybody if you just do that. Or you can just go try to kill them. Good luck! I ran into them once and uh, I could have had them. That's right. I'm gonna just I'm just going to say I could have had them. I didn't throw my flashbang. I didn't have a shield. Nothing. I still could have got them, baby. That's what I think. 
If I would have threw the flashbang, I might have got him. Uh, who who are we fool in here? I would have got just destroyed. Husky was my favorite, by the way. That's why I brought his name up. As for Republic events, expect restocks and resurgence from Rebirth Island to come to Cal Caldera. That's going to be cool. It's going to have all those events. Here, as a part of Season 1 update, Ricochet Anti-Chi will deploy a new internally developed kernel-level driver onto PC to assist and identify the cheaters in Warzone. Okay, that's cool. That was a controversy because it's going to have certain access to think files on your computer. I don't care. Just whatever. Access whatever. And, and just whatever you got to do to try to get rid of the cheaters. And, and it's just, I want this game to be good like everybody else, I'm sure. Right here it says this kernel level of driver coming first to Warzone will be required for all PC players as the update. Kernel level driver will sub subsequently be released for Vanguard at a later date. Hey, cool. And so that's about it. You know, there's other photos you can see on there. The link's in the uh, description. But yeah, so I'm excited. Let me know. Um, I'm hoping I'll be streaming it that day. We'll have to see what the schedule, and how it works out and make sure I'm free for that day. So if you see me streaming, I'm going to stream on YouTube. I know I had Twi Twitch linked in my uh, shorts for a while there, but kind of like all my content in one spot's my shorts, the regular videos, and then the live streams all on YouTube. So, uh, you know, check me out on that, on that day, December 8th, because I have Vanguard. So I'll be able to play uh, the new Battle Royale um, map early. So anyways, that's the new update. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, uh, like, comment, subscribe if you want. Let me know in the comments uh, what you think. And if you're excited and all the other stuff, I ask you to comment in the video. Just one of those. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for your time.